Hi ladies, hey, 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 Glam Squad. To my new subscribers, like and subscribe and join the Glam Squad. And to my returning ladies, thank you for coming back. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate every single one of you. Now let's get into this. Hey Glam Squad, welcome to another video. Please like, share, and subscribe and join the Glam Squad. To all my returning subbies, hey girl, hey, and my replay gang, gang, hey boo, child, we got conviction, suspensions, child, and uh, allegedly. Grab your coffee, grab your seat, grab your wine, grab your drink, honey, grab a seat, let's get into it. Shout out to Kim Paya, because that's where I first heard it. And shout out to Chit Chat with QT, because once I heard she said it, and you know she be doing her research, I was like, child, let me go look this up, child. But I am on Sandra Rose um, blog post right now, and, and allegedly Kenya Moore has been suspended indefinitely due to revenge P. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, y'all know I love me some Toro. Y'all know I love me some Kenya. But right is right and wrong is wrong. Let's read. Kenya Moore of The Real Housewives of Atlanta is indefinitely suspended from filming the show, according to ATLN of StraightFromA.com. Kenya Moore hair spa grand opening went viral after she allegedly displayed a revenge P image of a new cast member, Britt Edie. But before I continue, I just want to ask, what would be the purpose of her doing that? If you're trying to, I don't know, do something shocking or something like her having a in her mouth does what? And this is supposed to be a re 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 relaunch. Anyway, Bravo exec shut down the filming at the hair salon. An emergency meeting was held after an internal investigation. Kenya was suspended indefinitely. And I think this is just going to change the whole spectrum of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Like we we need Nene back. <laughs> we need Nene back. But we already know what Nene's um. Suing them and getting her money. I don't think she's coming back. I just don't see how they're going to recast this and put this back back on the map. Because even for the new girls coming on, I they seem like uh, more much younger, but more a little hip hop-ish, if I want to say that. Like, I just feel like recasting has changed the whole, just what... Real Housewives of Atlanta has, has, I mean, come to. Do anybody agree with me? But anyway, she says the hair spa event, which occurred Thursday, June 6th, was scheduled to be one of the first all cast events of the season. But things went away when Kenya pulled one of her notorious stunts, targeting Bert Eady and referring to her as an escort and calling her out for insurance fraud. Kenya took things too far from what she allegedly revealed explicit images of Edie performing. Ex a S E E E E X act. But my thing is, how did Kenya Moore get her hands on that photo? And who the hell told her that would be a good stunt? I mean, I love you, Kenya. You know, I love you, girl. You like purple. And I, you know, girl, I love you long time. But baby, I'm back on the so fast. Because I want to show you guys the difference between Bravo. And definitely the difference between own. Now I go to Martel Holt of Love and Marriage Huntsville. And I am on hot, what, what is this? 107.5 FM um, site. And this was published back on May 16. Martel Holt of Love and Marriage Huntsville convicted of domestic violence. Martel Holt has been convicted of domestic violence, harassing communications against his ex-wife and fellow co-star Melody Cherie. The Love and Marriage Huntsville star was convicted on May 2nd, but was released on bond. And he is currently appealing the conviction, according to court documents. Under his conviction, Holt receive a suspended jail sentence of 30 days holt cannot have any communication with sheree either he was also fined 500 dollars and was ordered to get a psychological evaluation again second judge two different cases 
Still no eval. Holt is scheduled to return to court on June 18. This conviction comes after he and Cherie has been involved in a custody battle over their children. So we definitely, what, that's next week. We're definitely waiting to see what happens there. But anyway, it says back in January, Martel Holt was taken into custody for charges from July 2023. Holt was accused of planning a scheme to release some inappropriate footage of his ex-wife online. Y'all y'all know this has been going on for over a year and a half, almost two years now. So y'all know the gist of it. From when they were still married, Cherie claimed that the tactic was Holt's way of exposing her for allegedly cheating. And we all know. The queen ain't cheap, but she should have, like Chit Chad say, he had them legs up in the air. So I just wanted to show you guys the difference between Bravo and OWN. To this day, Martel Holt is still filming on Love and Marriage Huntsville. And now, supposedly Trish, Trisha, this is the biggest smile I've seen from her since she's been on here with Ken. Ken, I've been telling you, you need to marry me. But anyway, so we have Martel acting like he's just a single bachelor out here still struggling, but... You know, he ain't got no money. You know, he ain't got no money. Um, And then we have Bravo who suspended um, Kenya Moore. Now, so Kenya Moore supposedly is supposed to go live with a press conference and whatever. Our ears will be to the streets. And we're going to see what Kenya Moore have to say. But regardless of the fact, the point I'm trying to drive home is the difference between own in the difference between Bravo, Bravo said, no, ma'am, Kenya Moore, you are a liability. But CK thought parading Martel around news stations and radio stations was the best thing to do. Even when he heard, we already knew he knew about this allegedly stuff that Martel was putting out because his paramour, you know, Ariane Curry was going out telling everybody and quite as it's kept. Carson Blue is the real hero here and Melody Sharif for going through with it because other women now know I don't have to hide or be in shame for performing sexual, which is natural on my spouse or my husband. And if you try me, if you try me, you, you're going to get charges. I just posted the, the Miami um, NFL player who just did the same thing and just got convicted also. And then something to the lady's son. My point is, women, if you are out here at the end of the day, we need to protect ourselves. Y'all want to be freaky, be freaky. But it ain't got to be filmed. And if you want it to be filmed, I'm just saying, you run the risk of it being out here. Because once it's out on the internet, on the internet, in ECK, once it's out on the internet, all next will be turning to see that picture. And it's popping up on blog posts, OnlyFans, the men's um at the group church. Child everywhere at the baseball games, they're gonna be like, Oh, let me see that, let me see that, let me see that. So that's what I'm just saying. All right, I'm just saying. But the difference between Owen and Bravo is CK is still parading Martel around here, and he was not reprimanded for what he did, even if Carlos did not want to fire him. You know, he should have been reprimanded for what he did, and now he's a convicted felon still filming at that okay so i'm gonna see how they're gonna run this reunion because baby that's throw my ass to the reunion because I don't, I don't even like how this season going then we got bravo that supposedly and allegedly has indefinitely suspended twirl and i love me some kenya Moore, baby i love kenya Moore. but right is right wrong is wrong kenya i don't know why you did this or who told you it would be a good idea you always do some stunts but baby i'm sure you could come back but baby this is a lie this is a lie I, uh, the difference between, anyway, y'all like, share, and subscribe, and let me know if you guys see the difference between OWN and Bravo, and what should happen with Kenya Moore, or do you think she should just be reprimanded and come back, and let me know if Martel Holt should be indefinitely suspended also. Anyway, like, share, and subscribe. Bye, ladies. Thank you ladies for watching another video. Please like and subscribe and remember to check out my shop. Bye ladies.